Hello and welcome back. One from the archives this week. Um, thought I would put some footage together of when we were in the velodrome earlier in the year. We went with Lucy Byram and Ruth Astle, two clients of mine. So it made sense for me to tag along, see what was going on and get some footage done. So I was filming a reel for Lucy. I was filming a YouTube video and YouTube video and reels for Ruth and then stills for both of them. So the day was organized by Hoob. They were testing some fabrics and some kit for um, to see what was fastest for the season on the women. So yeah, that looked like run around the track, try a different suit, another run around the track, try a different fabric, try different fits, different sizes. So really interesting to see all that data. What shop were also there, trialing front ends. Um, it was Jamie that was doing the testing. So it was really cool to see the data coming out of that as well. Super excited, yeah, I like the Venture. Found a bit more speed and set up a new race bike, which is very exciting. There it is, back there somewhere, still a secret Buried. until later today. So yeah, I got up after a few beers last night, a bit sluggish this morning. Got my run session done and then, yeah, that's me done training for the day. Might swim tonight, probably won't, but velodrome, shoot some stuff. Lucy Byron will be there. She obviously came for a beer last night as well, so that was nice. Um, and I've got my laptop in case I get a chance to do any editing, fun and games. One thing to note, Ruth was riding the Hunt Wheels at the time. She's obviously since signed with Parkour. So, um, yeah, waiting for even more data when we next go in there on the new setup. They were also obviously trying sort of newer innovation in triathlon, even though they've been in cycling a long time. Obviously, things like the Camelback down the front, um, the calf guards. So, yeah, it was really interesting. We went down to the Derby Velodrome because that's the local one for Hoob and it was a really good day. Sam was there fixing up Lucy's bikes and tinkering with bits and bobs alongside Jamie. Jacob Tipper was there, who's obviously Lucy's coach and David Bishop from Hoob among others. So yeah, a full squad of people there tinkering with bikes, trying to get everyone as fast as possible. The difference between the wind tunnel and the velodrome, the wind tunnel is obviously is, you know, super precise, it's really good for intricate, tight measurements. But when we're making positional changes like we were today, the problem is not all athletes can be truly honest to their real world position. If you're really experienced, you probably can be, but if you're still not the most experienced area rider in the entire world, what tends to happen is you get a bit excited, you, st you start looking really low down, you start looking at your hub, um, and then you start riding in a position that's just ultimately not sustainable. We then make all these changes, so we then change your helmet, change your tri suit around a position that's not sustainable and isn't one you're going to ride in in real life. Whereas on the velodrome, although you, although it might seem simple, there's no obstacles, there's no traffic lights or you know motorbikes to crash into on, on the velodrome. You still like unless you're super experienced, you you know you do still need to look up, you still need to look where you're going. And it makes you a lot more accountable for that real world position. How is it? Yeah, 
fun. It's more fun than fast. <laughs> yep. How's the bike? Bike's good. Um, feels the same. Yeah, now I've got these back into more similar position. But yeah, it'll be interesting to test the how much of a difference that makes with the tilt. But yeah, no, feels good. Obviously since then, Lucy did her blistering ride at Milwaukee, riding with Taylor Nib. Ruth, as everyone knows, is always a bit of a weapon on the bike. And her CDA is absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, it was really cool to see the women find extra speed leading into the 2023 season. Really hoping we get in early next year. So that was kind of March this year. Um, I didn't really do a lot with the footage. So um, that's why I'm sort of recycling it now. But yeah, really interesting day. Learned a lot about aerodynamics. What's what actually works, what doesn't work, what works on two different body types, um, and what is very personal. Would definitely recommend getting into the velodrome or the wind tunnel. Um, I'll hopefully be back in the next couple of weeks in one or the other with Bottrell. We're doing some aero testing of some various bits. I'll obviously not be doing any of the aero testing. I'll just be filming it. So yeah, looking forward to that and seeing what comes out of it. Um, and I'll hopefully catch up with you all soon. Let's go.